Yo, what's up guys, Top 5 Dude back on your screen. Now in today's video, we'll be counting down the top 5 evil people who got caught stealing pets. Now, in my opinion, all of the people in this list don't have a soul because, yeah, they literally stole someone's family member and actually thought they would get away with it. Anyways, before we start, make sure you subscribe with notifications turned on if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to smash that like button like always. And with that said, let's jump right on into the list. Starting today's list off, we have a woman who was on the news because she stole two dogs from someone and then claimed she had found them. Now, this woman actually left a note saying the dogs were abused and if the owner wanted his dogs back, he had to call her number. Now, when the owner called the number, she told him she needed money, so the owner actually offered her $2,000, but when she arrived at the place they were supposed to meet, she instead got handcuffed and taken to jail. Our story, you know, the owner of the dog said that her neighbors actually witnessed the, the, the alleged theft sometime on Saturday but didn't know what to make of it. But things got really strange on Monday. He says when he got home, there was a crude note left behind saying that his dogs had been found neglected and abused and that he needed to send a text message if he wanted to get them back. I don't know what in her mind, but she cannot come to people's house and just open the door and take the dog away. Tron says he couldn't believe it when his neighbors filled him in. It got even more strange Monday when he found a handwritten sign saying his dogs were found neglected and abused and he needed to send a text to a certain number to get them back. He did. She said, uh, um, now I have to bail out certain money and I offer her $2,000. Moving on, we have a woman who got caught stealing horse hair, which is just really weird in my opinion. I don't know why she did this, but she probably did not have enough money or something to buy fake hair, so she had to steal it from a horse, I guess. Now, I was honestly waiting for the horse to kick her in her face, but unfortunately, that never happened. <laughs> <laughs> I hear about me. <laughs> what is that? Yes. Yeah, let me my ass deal. Let me my ass deal. Let me my ass your ass. I want to tell you about what you're looking for money. I don't know what to say, man. I want to tell you about what you're looking for. Let me my ass deal. Let me my ass deal. Wow, that's a lot of hair. What are you going to do with that here now? <laughs> Next up, we have a girl who had to confront one of her neighbors for stealing her service dog. The crazy thing is that this neighbor was actually in the news because someone apparently stole her dog which wasn't hers in the first place. Now the real owner actually spotted her dog on TV and knew for a fact this was her dog so she decided to confront that neighbor because she obviously wanted him back. Very long time. You know how long yeah. had him? No, I don't. Ma'am, you know what? She's gonna take her dog and I'm yeah. the one who's telling her she's gonna take her dog. If you have a problem, you can take it up with me. We got him from a person up at Grossmont Center. Linda told me they got the dog at a local shopping center, but 10 News found this Facebook post by Linda's daughter saying they found the dog wandering in their neighborhood shortly after Crystal says he went missing. I was him. unaware of that posting. Okay, well, she posted it, and it sounds like you guys did find the dog in the neighborhood and that you really didn't get him from the Grossmont Center and that potentially this is Moving on, we have a couple who thought their cat got eaten by a coyote, but they weren't 100% sure about what happened. Luckily, these people had some security cameras installed, and when they checked the footage, it turned out a random woman stole the cat and drove off. Now, unfortunately, the footage was really blurry, so I honestly don't think they will ever find out who took their cat, but at least they know their cat is still alive. To take a look at some uh, video that we have here. This is surveillance video from the sides Newburgh home. You'll notice that a woman drives up and gets out of the car and walks off camera. I'm told she's knocking on the door, but there's 
No answer because nobody's home. Well, about 15 seconds later, you see the cat on the right side of your screen. The woman walks up and pets it, then picks it up and puts it in the back seat of her car. Then she drives off. All of this happening in less than two minutes in broad daylight. On the number one spot today, we have a guy who confronted his neighbor because people saw him walking around with his stolen dog. Now, at first this guy fully denied he had a dog inside his apartment and also claimed he was legally blind and not allowed to have dogs. But when his owner called out the dog's name, the dog instantly replied. So yeah, this guy was simply lying so he would not get caught. I can see Max right there. He told my friend Stacy he'd never seen a dog. And then it was his son's dog, and it was seen that uh, his son had had the dog. So now I, f I called Max at his front door. There's Max being tied up to a short little leash, and this dude right here trying to tell me to steal my dog. He told me he was legally blind, and that fucking and he's never seen a dog. His son had one earlier, and he let him go. Funny how that's my dog right there, though, right? Right? You ain't giving me my dog, right? Yeah, go get him then. Go let him off that leash. Apologize for the shit you said. No, you apologize for the shit you said. You told me you never seen him. Your son let him go earlier. No, you basically him. stole my dog, wait dude. You there. stole my fucking dog. Okay. Yeah, go fuck yourself. I'm wait waiting for the cops too. I got you on film. You got my dog, douchebag. Keep talking shit, mother. You got my dog. You stole my dog, dickhead. That's like taking that's like taking some kid. Yeah, and you ain't let him go, so you stole it. Yeah. You stole my fucking dog. I came here. You said, sorry, I didn't see no dog. I'm legally blind. What? I'm going to get a million dollars for him. Yeah, a million dollars. I bet you think you will. You basically stole my dog, dude. R6 Red Oak Apartments, Hamilton, New Jersey. There you go. Likes to steal motherfucking people's dogs. What kind of piece of shit does that? It's like somebody's kid, asshole. Oh, yeah, you're going to hide behind the Bible now, huh? Yeah, yeah, nice try, asshole. Come on, Max. Let's go, Max. Oh, you found him. Like, animal animal fucking uh, control couldn't have done that, right? Oh, yeah, you're so nice tying him to a two-foot leash to your fucking couch. Yeah, real nice, asshole. Real fucking humanitarian. Who are you going to try? Who are you going to try to sell him with? Are you going to... You better not be hurting my dog, dude. I got police on the way. This asshole, I think, is hurting my dog. You're on camera, asshole. He's in there trying to hurt my dog. Why do I hear my dog yelping, dude? Why is my dog yelping? Come on in. Yeah, come on in. Right, so you get me on breaking the entry? Nice try, dude. Open that goddamn door. Let me see my dog. Son happens to that dog. I just got video of him being all right. So if son happens to him, I'm pressing animal animal cruelty charges on top of fucking stealing my dog. Why is my dog yelping? Come on, Max. Why's my dog yelping? Yo, my dog better stop yelping, dude. Come on, Max. Yeah, tied to a two foot leash, and who knows what the fuck you're doing to him, asshole. He closed the door, now my dog is yelping. Yeah, now he's hurting my dog. He's in there yelling. He stole my dog. These are all the videos for today, guys. Now, I don't know about you guys, but if someone ever tried to steal one of my pets, I would definitely punch that person in the face or maybe even worse. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed today's list. If so, then you know what to do. Smash that like button like always. And yeah, until next time, I'm out. Peace.